uh, education for full employment is a big, big uh, topic. And so, you know, already my, my sentence, my usual sentence, uh, that, that we have to use new eyes. Uh, and so, contrary to popular belief, most AI systems currently act as a complement to humans instead of replacing them. Symbiotic systems. According to expert estimates, we are still decades away from general artificial intelligence and full automation. But eventually, there will come a day where robots will perform most tasks and the role of humans in the production cycle will be marginal. It is very hard to envision the dynamics of a robot-driven economy. But how will humans sustain their lives when robots take all their jobs? Government should impose an income tax on robots that replace humans, Bill Gates suggested in 2017. The Microsoft founder proposed that the robot tax could finance jobs to which humans are particularly well suited. This can include taking care of elderly people or working with kids in schools for which needs are unmet. Other experts are endorsing the notion of a universal basic income or ending out unconditional money to all citizens. The concept has been around for centuries, but it is gaining traction as full automation starts to loom the, on the horizon. Just to, for your knowledge, for instance, in Italy right now, our uh, new elected politicians are just discussing the, this kind of a solution. There are many political, economic, and ethical hurdles to the full implementation of the UBI, but pilot programs are underway. Governments, as well as private firms, are testing the concept in small scale. We have yet to see how the accelerating evolution of AI will unfold, but what is for sure is that the fundamental changes lie ahead. While we cannot predict the future, we can prepare for its potential outcome as best as we can. Education is the key facilitator. But uh, never forget, huh? the uh, work is always in progress. So any time confusion is just behind the door. Uh, thank you for your attention. And uh, uh, if you want to know more, I'm pretty sure that you already found uh, on the table the flyer of uh, the conference I will organize uh, next July 2019 in Milano. That is just uh, the, the first opportunity, it's a big experiment, the first opportunity to try to build a new language between technical people and social people. Just to, to grow together to, uh, it, and try to develop a better system for the social user and giving uh, the social user the right feedback on the state of advanced technology just for, to, be, uh, uh, to avoid to be fooled by fake news that you can read on newspapers or, or magazines or, or just on books. You know? and, um, and so uh, there will be topics uh, especially suited for the social track like a foundation of, the, of symbiotic systems, technology and society, symbiotic autonomous systems, mind thinking and rationality, value judgment in decision making, social implication of AI, human machine cooperation, creativity and wisdom, emotion effect and effective computing, roles of AI in social organization, computational and intelligent art, uh, science and art symbiosis, education for science versus art, and I think the most important one is, uh, will, be, will become in the next future the, con the discrimination between concrete and abst abstract sciences. Uh, you saw uh, this morning the presentation of Oliver, the, 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 uh, Olivier, they the gave uh, just an example, a practical example of a uh, of, uh, new way of approaching education, but that was a, 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 an example completely dedicated of what will be called soft science. Our science are sci uh, sciences that require, you know, more uh, practical tools, just not virtuals. And so we'll be, uh, the future will be quite interesting to see how th uh, things will articulate.